Hey what's up guys, this is Lucas here. So today I will be explaining Rubik's Cube rotations and kind of how the notation works. So uh, just as a quick background, you've got three types of rotations. You've got X and its primes, Y and its primes, and uh, Z and its primes. So this explanation will kind of show you how it works mathematically. It's actually really simple. Um, some of you might be thinking it's a bit straightforward, and uh, yeah, it is. So, uh, But yeah, I want to make sure that uh, everyone knows how they work because uh, it's very important when you're writing reconstructions and stuff. So this probably looks pretty familiar. It's a uh, Rubik's Cube core, and uh, it, it kind of looks like it has uh, three axes. The x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis um, so if you rotate the core about each axis that's kind of how the rotations work so take the x-axis so if you rotate like that that's how an x rotation works and then y rotation you grab it by the endpoints and you just rotate like that and then z it's like that. So it's really that simple. You just uh, rotate about each axis. <clears throat> so if you kind of imagine each axis kind of like sticking out of the cube, that's kind of what you do. It's all you, all you have to think of it as. Um, so if you want to tell whether or not a rotation is uh, prime or not, um, these kind of correspond with uh, cube cube moves so an X rotation will correspond with R so you see the clockwise movement of the R phase goes up so that's how you will rotate the cube in the X direction and then X primes this way like an R prime and then Z corresponds with F so this is Z this is Z prime and then Y corresponds with the U face. So U is the same thing as Y. So pretty simple. I thought I'd just make a quick video on this because I see people confusing rotations too often. Pretty important and I hope this helped. So thank you guys for watching.